What's up again, gamers? We're gonna keep this one even shorter. But this time we're gonna make two abilities instead of just the one <laughs> that we did last time. Hopefully. So, where's an ability? What if he had an ability that was a guaranteed guaranteed spelled that wrong but that's fine do, 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 do. fucking I you know I don't want to undo that fuck it it's a guaranteed way to uh Bribery. Bribery. I found fucking piece of shit. Target enemy. And attempts to convince. Whoops. Convince them to join their side. This one, I think, is going to be Devil's Tongue. All right, we gotta italicize it. Do, 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 do. Any amount. Uh, that's kind of an odd way to say it. Um, um, how would how would you go about saying this? Money used for bribe comes out. Pocket and to convince the target um money will not be consumed if devil's tongue failed fails thank you google okay that's pretty good I like that. I think that's very symbolic of merchant. I think so. For monk, I don't think many changes need to be made. So let's see. so chi. The so this one right here and this one right here are two different things. So this one is a healer kind of deal. So chi font. Okay. Group two chi in combat every round. Mmm, every round? No, make that every turn. That every round is kinda eh. Especially because you don't have a very consistent way to generate chi. Two chi in combat every turn is better. Meditate only gives you two chi for consuming all your actions. Focus punch is uh 
Well, I mean, the whole new sense of fair surefire punch. This attack launches at the end of your turn and will always hit. Mm, it can be interrupted, you see. That can be interrupted. It's basically the thing from Pokemon. It can. Like, it has to be used from melee range, because it's a punch. Obviously. <sighs> I just had an idea. <sighs> well, I gotta stretch my back. Okay, so. This monk is both a healer as well as damage dealer. Spends chi to heal as well as spends chi to do damage except for focus punch. So, it should have a way to get around. Chi font, I'm thinking, is going to not have a uh, range limit. Uh, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Like, clearly, if the target's like a mile away, it's not going to work. But like, if they're within eyesight, it is pretty much always going to work. There might be a travel time, there might not be. We'll decide later. But for now, Monk needs an ability to get around. So, what if... Um... Will of the Resolute. Why does that name ring with me so much? Resolute. Let's let's look up the definition of resolute real quick. Admirably purposeful, determined, unwavering. Would that be a term used with monk? I don't think so. It's more like focused is the word I would use for monk. Calm? No, that wouldn't work for me. So, something like using focus as the base. Focused what? Fo focused. Focused what? Focused leap? That sounds odd. Focused. Focus. Sprint? Uh-uh. Uh, leap sounds better than sprint. Just leap. This would be leap to target area. And stagger enemies nearby. Based on height reached. That's that's good. That's good. This would affect the allies as well if they're not careful. Okay, yeah. Leap to target location and upon landing, stagger nearby. Targets. Now, targets makes the soup target. Thereby, entities based on a height reached. That might sound confusing. <laughs> that is not reached. 
<laughs> and how you reached. Okay. Okay. That's all good. Now then. So, so we got way of water. The speed matches the target you marked. Okay. Way of earth, your attacks are grounded heavy and look clunky. Attacks you make have a chance to make the target off balance and a small chance to knock down. Okay. Flow, dodge enemy attacks. Clamp down enemy, knock them off. Enemy clamped. Okay. Solid stance, like a stance that deflects or blocks attacks. Deflecting attacks have a chance to break the weapon. Usable and off balance, or knock down targets only. Will you target it into a bear if I can attempt to crush them? This lasts until Dirgit breaks free or death. Um. Spine breaking doesn't lead to death. Does it? Does a. Broken spine lead to death. Breaking a spine, like break, obviously breaking the neck spine might lead to death but the target of a bear hug would not be the neck it would be the back or the ribs or something or This version of Monk would be able to change forms in combat, assuming they have trained that form. I'm going to make it so that you have to choose a form to start out with, but if you find another Monk that has a pet or a way that you don't have, then you can ask to be trained and then at that point you could switch passives on the fly. I like that idea. Where can I write that down? We'll put that down here. Start off with one way. You can ask for training from other monks that know a way you do not, and then you will be able to change. We made two abilities that time, and also clarified a thing for Monk. See, this stuff right here. There is going to be another way, but that can be done later. For next time, we're going to be looking at Summoner. I don't know if I said this already, but subscribe, please. 
I don't know if I said that at the beginning or at the end of the last episode. But either way, subscribe, please. Peace out.